Good morning, everyone. So I'm going to give you a hint about what today's story time theme is about. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> anyone? Does anyone know what story time is about? Miss Leslie? Monkeys! That's right, it's about monkeys. And you even, another hint is all the bananas in the background, which monkeys love to eat. Should we get started with a little bread and butter? You guys know the movement, right? It's laugh and clap. Are you ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quickly as we can. One, two, three. Hello. That was so fast. Should we do bread and butter again? And this time we're going to say hello very slowly. Should we try that? Okay, you guys ready for bread and butter? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slowly as we can. One, two, three. Hello. Good job. Let's see. Should we do bread and butter? And we're going to say hello in a very, very high voice. That's very silly. Let's do that, all right? Ready for bread and butter? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. One, two, three. Hello. Well, what is the opposite of high? It's low. Should we say hello in a low voice? Let's try that, okay? You guys ready for bread and butter? I want to see everyone doing it. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. One, two, three, hello. Oh, that is a good low voice. All right, should we do bread and butter one more time? And this time we're just gonna give a friendly wave. Are you ready for that? Okay. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as friendly as we can. One, two, three, hello. So great to see all your smiling faces. Miss Leslie, what do you have for us? Thanks, Miss Susie. I have a classic, and this has um, a peddler with some caps, but it has some very cheeky monkeys. This is called Caps for Sale. This is an old book. This book was written in 1940. That was a long time ago. That was over 80 years ago. And I remember when my mom read it to me and I just loved it. And I hope you feel the same. It's written by Esper Slobodakina and it's published by HarperCollins. Okay, let's see what happens here. Once there was a peddler who sold caps, but he was not like an ordinary peddler carrying his wares on his back. He carried them on top of his head. First, he had his own checked cap, then a bunch of gray caps, you see them there? A bunch of brown caps, a bunch of blue caps, and on the very top, a bunch of red caps. He walked up and down the street, holding himself very straight so as not to upset his caps. And as, a went, as he went along, he called, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street and he walked down the street calling caps, caps, 50 cents a cap. But nobody wanted any caps that morning, not even a red cap. He began to feel very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, he said. And he walked out of town slowly, slowly, so as not to upset his caps. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, he said. And he sat down very slowly under the tree and leaned back little 
by little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb the caps on his head. Then he put his hand to feel if they were straight. First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, and then the red caps, in the very top. They were all there, so he went to sleep. He slept for a long time. When he woke up, he was refreshed and rested. Do you see anything suspicious? Did you notice anything? But before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure his caps were in the right place. All he felt was his own checked cap. He looked to the right of him. He looked to the left of him. He looked to the back of him. He looked behind the tree. No caps. Then he looked up into the tree. And what do you think he saw? Anybody have a guess? On every branch sat a monkey. On every monkey was a gray or brown or blue or red cap. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking a finger at them. Can you guys get your finger here and shake your finger and say, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, tss, tss, tss. can you be a monkey and say, tss, tss, tss. that's right, they're copying him. This made the peddler angry. So he shook both hands at them and he said, are you ready to shake both hands? You monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. Can you do that? What do you think the monkeys did? The monkeys only shook both their hands and they said, didn't give him back his caps. Now he felt quite angry. He stomped his foot. Can you stomp your foot? And he said, you monkeys, you, you better give me back my caps. Do you think the monkeys gave him back his caps? No, the monkeys just stomped their feet and said, uh-oh, by this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. He stomped both his feet and shouted, are you ready to stomp both your feet? You monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. Do you think they gave him back his caps? The monkeys only stomped both their feet back at him and said, tss, tss, tss. oh boy, at last. He became so angry that he pulled off his own cap, threw it on the ground, and walked away. But then each monkey pulled off his cap. And all the gray caps and all the brown caps and all the blue caps and all the red caps came flying down out of the tree. That was very clever and I don't think he planned it. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps and the blue caps, and then the red caps on the very top. There he is, slowly, slowly, he walked back to town calling, caps, Caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. <laughs> I love, love, love that book. All right, well, all of that action with the monkeys have made me very hungry, Miss Susie. What have you got? I have some delicious bananas. You see that? And I have this very cheeky monkey. Ooh, 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 ah, ah, ah. And he's very hungry. Should we count the bananas? Are you ready? One. Two, three, four, five bananas. Five yellow bananas and not one more. The monkey ate one. 
And then there were four, that's right. Can we count the remaining bananas? Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Four yellow bananas, so yummy to see. The monkey ate one. And then there were three, three yellow bananas. He knew what to do. The monkey ate one. And then there were two, two yellow bananas hanging in the sun. The monkey ate one. And then there was one, one yellow banana. Well, for goodness sake, the monkey ate that one oh, and got a tummy ache. Oh no. Now there were no little bananas hanging on the tree. Oh monkey, your tummy wouldn't hurt if you shared them with me. Oh, all right, Miss Leslie, I'm giving it back to you. All right, I've got another really silly, silly book. This is called 10 Naughty Little Monkeys. All right. And this is by Suzanne Williams, and it is published by HarperCollins. Okay. So you guys know about the 10 little monkeys jumping on the bed, right? It's usually, I guess, five little monkeys, but we've got 10 here. 10 little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, do you know what the doctor said? No more monkeys jumping on the bed. All right, monkeys, stop jumping. Let's see what else they're gonna get into. Oh, nine little monkeys racing out the door. One monkey tripped and landed on the floor. Mama called the doctor and the doctor roared, no more monkeys racing out the door. All right, now we're down to only eight. Do you see what's on their feet? What are they up to? Eight little monkeys skating in the street. One monkey slipped and plopped on her seat. Mama called the doctor. He didn't miss a beat. No more monkeys skating in the street. Now, what are they doing? Seven little monkeys climbing up a tree. One tumbled out and skinned his knee. Mama called the doctor. He said, can we agree? No more monkeys climbing up a tree. We're down to six. Six little monkeys rolling down a hill. One hit a bump and took a big spill. Mama called the doctor. The doctor sounded ill. No more monkeys rolling down a hill. Five little monkeys hiking down the trail. One monkey flipped and bent his tail. Mama called the doctor and the doctor wailed. No more monkeys hiking down the trail. What are these monkeys gonna get into next? Oh, look what they're up to now. That doesn't look too dangerous, does it? <laughs> Four little monkeys fishing off the dock. One toppled in to everybody's shock. Mama called the doctor and the doctor squawked. No more monkeys fishing off the dock. Three little monkeys playing hide and seek. One tipped over and started to shriek. Mama called the doctor. He almost couldn't speak. No more monkeys playing hide and seek. Two little monkeys dressing up in clothes, tripped wearing heels, and stubbed their toes. Mama called the doctor. Now what do you suppose? No more monkeys dressing up in clothes. 
We've only got one left. One little monkey following a map, didn't see the net and fell into the trap. Mama called the doctor and the doctor snapped. Put those monkeys down for a nap. So mama put those monkeys down for a nap. And what do you think those monkeys did when they got into bed? Anybody have a guess? 10 little monkeys jumping on the bed. Oh my goodness. They are really, really naughty. All right, Miss Susie, I know you have another silly song for us. I do. I love those naughty monkeys. They seem like they're a lot of fun to be with. Okay, we're going to do some banana movement. Can you guys do it along with me? Okay, we'll, we'll start out slowly. Okay, I want to see you guys moving your arms and moving along with me. Are you ready? Okay, first we're going to peel bananas, peel, peel bananas, going to peel bananas, peel, peel bananas. Now we're going to chop. Bananas, chop, chop, bananas. We're gonna chop. Bananas, chop, chop, bananas. Okay, you ready? We're gonna slice. Bananas, slice, slice, bananas. We're gonna slice. Bananas, slice, slice, banana. You ready to mash the bananas? We're gonna mash bananas, mash, mash bananas. Gonna mash bananas, mash, mash bananas. You ready to eat the bananas? We're gonna eat bananas, eat, eat bananas. Gonna eat bananas, eat, eat bananas. Are you ready to go bananas? We're gonna go bananas, go, go bananas. Gonna go bananas, go, go bananas. Woo! Okay, I have a book to share with you. Some more naughty monkeys. These are funky little monkeys by Bill Martin Jr. And it is published by Hyperion Press. Sleepy little monkey won't get out of bed. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, Apple juice, orange juice, gooseberry pies. Monkey needs some exercise. Rutabaga, rutabaga, sis, boom, ba. Pop up, monkey. Ra, ra, ra. First, you get the rhythm of the head. Ding dong, ding dong. Can you guys do that with me? Have you got the rhythm of the head? Ding dong, ding dong. Then you have the rhythm of the, the hands. Clap, 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 clap. Can I see you guys clapping? Have you got the rhythm of the hands? Clap, 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 clap. Then you get the rhythm of the feet. Are you ready to stop? Stomp, 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 stomp. Have you got the rhythm of the feet? Stomp, 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 stomp. Then you get the rhythm of the hips. Are you ready? Shake, 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 shake. Have you got the rhythm of the hips? Shake, 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 shake. Put them all together, you'll be feeling so much better. You ready to put it all together? Ding dong, clap, clap, stomp, stomp, shake, shake. Do them backward nice and quick. You'll feel perky, that's the trick. Are you ready? Shake, shake, stomp, stomp, clap, clap, ding dong. Rutabaga, rutabaga, sis, boom, ba. Monkey, monkey, rah, rah, rah. Spunky little monkey, ready for the day. Come on, monkey, let's go play. The end. All right, Miss Wesley. Okay, so we're gonna do a classic song 
And I assure you that none of my monkeys here are actually going to get hurt. We are just pretending. So let's see. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five little monkeys. They're sitting in a tree and they're being kind of naughty because they're teasing Mr. Alligator. And I don't know how much Mr. Alligator is going to like that. But let's put our five monkeys in the tree. Ready? Five little monkeys sitting in a tree teasing Mr. Alligator. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And whoo, whoop, whoop. He got one of those monkeys sitting in the tree. How many do we have left? One, two, three, four. You think they'll stop teasing Mr. Alligator? I certainly would, but I don't know. These monkeys, they're very stubborn. Four little monkeys sitting in a tree, teasing Mr. Alligator. You can't catch me, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and whoop, takes that monkey right out of the tree. I've got one, two, three monkeys left. Three little monkeys sitting in a tree, Teasing Mr. Alligator, you can't catch me, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and whoop, takes a monkey right out of the tree. We've only got two monkeys left. I sure hope these monkeys stop teasing Mr. Alligator. Let's see what they do. Two little monkeys sitting in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, you can't catch me, you can't catch me. Oh boy. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and whoop, takes that monkey right out of the tree. What do you think this monkey should do? What do you think? You think the monkey's going to listen to our advice? Let's see. One little monkey. Sitting in a tree, teasing Mr. Alligator. You can't catch me, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And whoop! Ugh. Ah! Got it. <laughs> that monkey right out of the tree. But like I said, I promised you those monkeys were not hurt. Let's see, we'll put them right back up into the tree. And maybe now they'll learn their lesson that it's not nice to tease, especially when there's an alligator around. Yeah, all right. So I think, Miss Susie, that we should go to the music. So mm -hmm. let's have you set that up. I agree. This is our favorite time of, of a part of story time, right? We're going to clap our hands. We're going to stomp our feet, but we do record this and put it on YouTube. So if you don't want your child to be recorded, you can turn your camera off and still listen to the music. Um, but if we're all set, let's get ready to clap our hands. Come on, Wiggle Worms. Let's get ready to clap our hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Now we're gonna stomp our feet. Stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. Everybody stomp your feet. Stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Everybody stomp your feet. Let's say hi to all our friends. Wait. Wave hello, everybody wave hello, wave hello, wave hello, wave hello, wave hello, everybody wave hello. Hi everybody. Well, I know you don't like it, but now it's time for us to brush our teeth. Brush your teeth, brush your teeth, everybody brush your teeth. Brush your teeth, brush your teeth, brush your teeth, brush your teeth, brush your teeth. everybody brush your teeth. Yeah. 
touch your nose, touch your nose. Everybody touch your nose. Touch your nose, touch your nose, touch your sweet little nose. Everybody touch your nose. All right, it's time to clap those hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. It must be beautiful. Jump, jump. Everybody jump, jump. everybody woo, woo, woo. all right we're going to do a little open shut them and i just want to let you know that next tuesday we will not have a zoom story time we're actually doing um a story time in the garden it's a registered program so i don't know you have to check the website pwpl.org backslash children's to see if there's still spots available for that tuesday uh, we will be figuring out how we're going forward, but on Fridays, we're still doing our park story time that you do not need to register for. And um, the next two Tuesdays, like I said, we are gonna be here in the library in our garden. So anyway, uh, it has been so fun doing these Zoom story times with you. And I don't think this is the absolute end, but we are transitioning. So look at our website, look at the newsletter, call if you have questions and uh, let's get our hands up, ready? Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them slowly, slowly. Okay. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth. Bah. Do not let them in. You know, we've got a minute or two, and this might be one of our, you know, last Zoom story times for a while. So let's make this a special open shut them. Do you think we can do it a little faster? Yeah, let's see, here we go. <gasps> open shut them, open shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open shut them, open shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them slowly, slowly. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, bah. Do you know what I mean? What do you think, even faster? Yeah, you think we can do it? All right, shake out your hands. We don't wanna get an open shut them injury. Shake out your shoulders. You wanna be loosey goosey for this. <laughs> Okay, big deep breath. <sighs> Ready, everybody? Ready? Open shut them, open shut them. Give a little cup, cup, cup. Open shut them. 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 Open shut Wow, you guys are good. And now we're going to try it one more time, which is one more way, which is silently. Eyes up here. We can do this together. Are you ready? I do not let them in. <gasps> nice job, everybody. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Raise your hands up high. <laughs> open, shut them, open, shut them. It's time to say 
Goodbye. Thanks for coming, everybody. Be well. Bye, everyone.